Michael Porter Jr. was the Naismith High School Player of the Year last year. Went to Missouri three minutes into his first game, had to leave, and had to undergo a microdiscectomy that basically cost him the rest of his freshman year there. Uh, take off your coaching hat here for a moment. I want to ask the, the guy who spent 15 years in the NBA how concerned you'd be about a player with a significant back injury at the age of 19 coming into the league? That'd be some concern. I think the, the NBA, there's a certain level of physicality that you have to embrace at playing at that level. And um, right now there might be a little bit of a question there for him, but his skill set is definitely there if he's healthy. It, it's, it's a concern. It's a, and, and if you look at his body, he's not – you know, he's not going to put on 40 pounds, okay? Right, he's right. Not doesn't have that kind of frame. No. He just doesn't have that kind of frame. So he's going to be a very thin, very skinny. He can get stronger. That's not what I'm saying. But, he, he, you know, you're not going to – he's not going to be 265, 270 at any point in his life. Right. So, to Danny's point, the pounding that a four or, or a th even a three in, in today's NBA um, takes – it causes you, it will cause some questions, but the talent is so dynamic that I think he will, it will be very shocking to me if he doesn't, if he's not picked in the top 10. I mean, that will, I think it's anywhere, you know, you could start it uh, as high as four and maybe mm -hmm. four to nine. I think it's probably somewhere in there. Somebody is going to pull the trigger on that because he's just too talented not to. He's not Brandon Ingram skinny, but no. he, he's a lean guy. Yeah, but and, Brandon and, Ingram's playing guard spots. Right. He's going to be right. playing front court spots. He's going to be getting hit in the, in the paint. Guys, uh, as, you, as you do the cost benefit analysis on Michael Porter Jr., at what slot does the potential reward justify the risk? I think anywhere after five, Stu. <clears throat> I really do because. You look at this guy, he was number one in this class for a reason. It's because he has those guard skills. It's because he's what the NBA is all about right now. Those guys that are 6'8", 6'9", with guard skills that are able to do a lot of things and have a lot of versatility, that's what people want. That's what you're looking for. And if you have a guy that was possibly the number one player in this class, if he gets back to that level, if he checks out medically with your doctors, I definitely think it's worth the risk because that's how you get a steal. You get a number one talent type of player, but you get him at the fifth, sixth, or seventh pick. That's how you start turning your franchise around. I think he's going to be a very good player as long as things check out. But I am worried about the injury because just last week, guy couldn't get out of bed for an NBA workout, had a hip problem. Uh, they said it was from some of the workouts. So the injury concerns are real. You do have to do your background research. Your medical staff has to give him the okay. But if your medical staff gives Michael Porter the okay, I'd be willing to roll the dice on him because I think that's how you get lucky. That's how you turn your franchise around. Yeah, Brendan, to me as a franchise, it depends on how much risk you're willing to take to get what you know is the ultimate reward. And what I mean is, is that he has a, a back injury. He's had surgery. This is serious. And to Danny Manning's point, the rigors of an 82-game schedule at the NBA really takes its toll. And if, you're not, if your body is not totally healthy, eventually it's going to catch up with you. So... You know, if you're a team that's drafting him, do you say to yourself, and I'm not a doctor, but do you say to yourself, okay, we're going to shut him down. He doesn't play in the summer league, and perhaps maybe we don't get him until December. Or maybe you make the decision in an effort to get that reward of the best player in his high school class. You make the, the decision. You're going to sit him out the entire year like no. Joel M L Embiid. And maybe you get that kind of, you know, return. Because this guy, skill-wise, best shooting big man in the draft, highly skilled, a guy that can get you buckets at the end of a shot clock and is a potential superstar. But I think you're going to have to wait on him if you take him. Hey, that process worked out pretty well for Philly, huh? Wait it on. sure did. I think the Joel Embiid comparison is a really interesting one and, a, and a, a valid one as well. They may just shut him down for a year, get him into physical therapy, work on the body, and make sure he's ready to go two seasons from now.